Hi everybody, uh, Tom Matthews here uh, today at the shop. A friend of mine brought a uh, an electric bike over. It's an electric trike and it's pretty cool. Uh, but he's getting a Hall effect error. So one of the there's three Hall effect sensors in the motor. The hub motor is a brushless DC motor, and they've got a pretty cool controller. Uh, these are Chinese made. There's a lot of these things coming out on the market right now, but he keeps getting error 24H. Uh, which is Hall effect sensor and we thought it might be the controller or the motor but uh, I've been looking at it here for a bit and I'm pretty sure I found out what's wrong with it here let's uh, let's take a look at it here and I'll show you what what I'm doing with it hold on a second here so here's the bike um, it's a very neat looking bike um, it's a, a forward trike so uh, these are cool it's got very thick tires on it apparently these things go very fast he's got a 48 volt battery on it um, uh, I can't remember what he paid for this I think two or three thousand dollars but uh, keeps keeps giving this error and I'm pretty sure we've traced it uh, to the motor wiring there's these uh, here's the controllers that are uh, on these things um, and so it's basically a brushless DC motor controller it gets a speed command from the throttle uh, and there's three uh, voltage you know motor phases coming out of here it's probably a PWM type controller and then there's a, uh, a JST SM connector here that we thought um, where all the Hall effect signals come back so there's three Hall effect signals um, probably you know 120 degree spacing on the uh, motor uh, wheel shaft position and uh, there's a uh, a black and a red wire which is ground and plus five and then a yellow green and blue wire which are the three Hall effect signals and I'm pretty sure the white wire does uh, nothing but uh, so the black and the red wires are good uh, the green and the yellow appear to be good but um, I think I know what's wrong I think this blue wire has either got a uh, uh, you know crummy crimp on the uh, JST connector um, or perhaps the wire is broken, you know, back here a millimeter or so up in the, up in here. And I'll show you how I how I know this. Uh, we wanted to make sure we knew for sure before we go in and change the connector because uh, um, you know it's a lot of work to change the connector. We want to make sure we know what's wrong with it. Um, so I've got a, a just a fluke DVM set up here on um, uh, continuity check. So that's the beeping means there is continuity. And uh, just to localize the jiggling. Whenever you've got a jiggly wire like this, you want to make sure that where you're jiggling is where the problem is. So this is a really interesting connector over here. Um, this is where the three motor phases and all the Hall effect signals come back from this motor. Um, and uh, so I've got this, uh, the inner connectors are a millimeter diameter, so I've got a probe that's exactly a millimeter diameter, so I know that it's not intermittent on this side and there's no way jiggling can get through this arrangement. So let's go back over here to this side where I think the problem is. And so I'm definitely hooked onto that crimp well, and then let's jiggle it a little bit. Hear that? So that's, I think we've got this dead to right. What I'm gonna do for a quick first test is I'm gonna just try to put a little solder on here, but it's probably broken up in there. We'll probably have to cut that off. Um, I don't have any of these uh, crimp terminals in stock, but I've got some coming. Um, DigiKey has them in stock, so I should have some tomorrow or Monday. But hopefully we can get this fixed, and it looks like a really neat bike. I'm hoping he'll let me ride it <laughs> and play on it. Um, so I'm sure we'll see more of these. E-bikes are very popular right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it, uh, hope it helps other people. <laughs> you know, if you're having trouble with something like this, uh, uh, the wiring at first can be daunting. But uh, these things are manageable, and I'll even show you uh, uh, reverse, you know, some of the stuff you have to reverse engineer. You can find diagrams on the web, but for example, here I reverse engineered the wires inside that connector. So you kind of have to make your own documentation, but it's doable, and I hope this is helpful. Um, this is Tom Matthews from Matthews Engineering. Thank you for watching.